Hey guys, so it's literally like, what's the time? It's nine and a half and I'm supposed to sleep because I have school tomorrow. But anyways, today I'm gonna make, be making another PowerPoint game. So first my channel was for PowerPoint games, which got pretty much a lot of views. And then I did it for fidgets and I changed the name and stuff. Then I, I noticed that I wasn't getting any views. So now this is my first video after the fidgets to the PowerPoint games and the reason I'm doing this because one that's uh was pick the door pick don't pick like pick a door okay it got 23,000 views thank you guys so much for that anyways I hope you subscribe like so I can post so I don't really post that much I'm sorry about that but I have a lot of school and yeah Anyways, let me just show you the game. So, this game is like, so you dare your friend for, to do one of three things. So, they will pick. So, you can, you're going to make these three uh, lockers. One, two, and three. Or you can make more. And then, like, option one, you can write anything over here. Option two, and option three. And they'll pick one, and they have to do it. You can write anything. You don't have to make it exercise. I just wrote this uh, for an example. So now I made another slide just to show you. Okay, you can keep the same colors or change them. You have pull ups, leg lifts, and straight jumps. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. So it's a little complicated, but I think we can go through. Okay, so first, let's just open a new PowerPoint slide. Okay, now what you're going to do is go to Layout and Blank. And then you're going to insert a rectangle in the size you want. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And for the first locker, I'm going to keep it with this locker, or with this color too. So now we're going to duplicate it, put it right here, and just make this a little smaller. Okay, next we are going to select this and go to format shape, go to fill, gradient fill, and then you're just going to make it like this, just two of these. So one of them is going to be white, and the other one is going to be gray and so it's gonna be like this and I'm gonna choose the direction which I want to be like this no actually the other way around I want the white to be yeah like that and then we're gonna go right here go to shadow press over here yeah then we're gonna make it inner this one inside top left then we are going to come right come right here, make the blur bigger. No, actually we're gonna make it smaller. And then you're gonna go to uh transparent angle distance and you're gonna make it bigger and bigger until you want to stop. So I'm just gonna make it 26 and the blur let's just keep it mm, let's just put it on 30 oh then this looks yeah it looks legit it looks like it's the inside of the locker now we're just gonna put this okay we're gonna make it a little more small and we're just gonna put it in the middle okay now what we are gonna do is bring duplicate another one of these make it a little smaller and right now this is they're gonna be the door but first you're gonna add some text so it's gonna say uh, for example option one and then maybe zero one and then you can make it bigger you can make it bold yeah you can basically do anything you want for now I'm just gonna do this but you can do anything you want. Okay, let's just uh, center it. Okay. Okay, now 
now that's what I'm gonna do. Next, I'm gonna add, again, I'm gonna add some text. You can write your dare here, so do five setups. For example, that's what I'm gonna write. You can write basically anything you want. So, now we're gonna start making the door. So, first of all, what you need for the door is you need uh, more rectangles. Just make them thin and not too long, just like that. Now we're gonna make it a darker shade of blue than this one. So let's just do it like this. Yeah. Now you're just gonna put it here. And then you're gonna duplicate it and put it under it. And then again, and then again. You can do that this much times. And now you're just gonna uh you're just gonna select this one and then Hold control and select the next three. Oh. Oopsies, what did we do? Okay, let's just go back. Yeah, I think we're just gonna duplicate this one more time. And do this. Okay, now, this one's selected. Hold control and press on all the other ones. Okay, now, take your hand off control. So now what we are going to do is control G, which will make them a group. As you can see, they can move together. Okay, now we're going to get another text and write 0, 1. Oh, this is the number of the locker. You can make it just one, but I'm just writing 0, 1. So anyways, let's make this bold big you can do whatever you want with it that's but this is what i'm gonna do okay just like this then we're just gonna you can make it whatever color you want i'm just gonna make it white okay now let's get going with the door handle so we're gonna get a rectangle we're gonna just do this yeah and then we're gonna go to gradient again. And this time we're gonna use three stops. Which the first one is white, the second one is white, but then the third one, okay, let's take this one off. Okay, since we can't take it off, let's just put it over here and make it. just switch these because I need the gray to be in the middle and then the white will come back here this one will be white so white gray white okay so that's what we want this to be but it's not gonna be side to side it's gonna be on top of each other just like this so it can look realistic now you're gonna get a small square yeah, and you're going to make it whatever color you want. I'm just going to make it a darker blue. And I'm just going to put it right here. Duplicate it and then put it right here. Okay, let's just do that. So, now, last but not least, we are making the... Um, stuff right here for the door i actually forgot what they're called but you'll see in just a sec so we're also going to make them a darker blue and put this over here duplicate it put it down and then duplicate it again and put it even more down so we will move it more to the bottom and this more to the top okay just like this but we're just going to move them a little bit in to the door, you know. Yeah. Just like this. Now, after we're all done with the door, we're just going to select it all and control G. So now the whole door is just one piece. So we're going to put it on top of this. Okay, it just needs to be a little bigger. Little smaller. You 
can make it any size you want. So we're just gonna make it like, oh, okay, I moved that one by itself. Yeah, just like that, and then just make it a little wider. Oh, and why did this move? By the way, guys, I don't know why that moved. It was not supposed to. But let's just try that one more time. Yeah. Just do that. That, and then just that anyways now that we have well, let's just actually make this a little bigger yeah a little more maybe oh now that's too much yeah just like that okay and now we're gonna select that and select the door so basically you're going to select the door and make sure that the door is the one being selected and then you're going to go to animations and then you're going to open the animation pane take off this and add animation so more exit effects you're going to go to collapse okay then you're going to go to effect options and then to right, which will be like this. Which, as you can see, the door is basically opening. This will happen only when you click. Yeah, see? Okay, anyway. Now we are just going to take the whole thing and duplicate it. Oh, we took the whole slide. Okay, back. right over here now we are g just gonna change the colors and stuff so I'm changing I'm making this one a red one so we just go here shape fill red and this one also red and then these little guys oh I need them again Okay, these will be the darker red over here, and then these, these will just also be that darker red that we want. Oh, and you guys, I forgot to say something, I'll just say, I'll say it in just a moment, after we do this. Okay. I forgot to say something, you should take out the out outline of the whole thing, but here it didn't show because the outline is blue. So you're just going to select all of it and make it with no outline. So now that's a lot better. Okay. Only, I think only this one should be with that outline. You know, so we can see the door. just fix this a little bit yeah that's better <laughs> anyways so now we have our second locker what you're gonna just take off the door change this one to like do fire for example push-ups anything you want doesn't have to be an exercise again then you're gonna change this to option two and then you just put back the door Yeah, 
and then you're gonna duplicate that all over again and basically do the same process I just did with this one but for now we're, so after you're done with all of the ones you want on the first slide you're just gonna press on the slide control D which will make a different slide here all you will do you can change the colors you can change the numbers if you want you can change the dares and yeah you'll just do the same but just duplicate the slide you know so that was my video hopefully you enjoyed it and yeah so let's see the final game after you're done with it it's supposed to be a little something like this so for example i dare you to either do five push-ups do five setups or do five crunches and then when that person's done move on to the second slide i dare you to do five pull-ups or do five leg lifts or do five straight jumps and then we'll pick and do it it doesn't have to be exercise again and then there'll be more slides as much as you want so thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy this is going to be up in just a few minutes after I am done. So please consider subscribing and liking this video and like all of my videos. And yeah, so bye.